Well done. Here we go. Final feature of the night. Checkers out. We are greens out. Checkers coming out in 20 laps as we race off through one and two. Jimmy McGar in the 16 car. Todd Staley quickly to the number two spot. Wettengill in the 91, J to the inside. You got Stovall there, four wide for the number three position. Now there's something you don't see every day. Todd Staley running the inside and bottom of a racetrack, but he's doing it right now. The 14 car trying to run down Jimmy McGar, and he is oh, shot out him. of a cannon. Here comes Staley on the bottom. The 14 running side by side with Jimmy McGar, the race leader, off of turn number four. Who's it going to be at the line this time? Bye, it's Staley. Chase Prusman been turning wrenches all day long in that 14 car. And looks to be paying some dividends now as Staley goes to the race lead. He is pinned on the bottom. In fact, the top four on the bottom except for Stovall on the top of the racetrack. And car number 19, Jesse Stovall, the Yeoman Racing Engines entry, glued to the top of the speedway. Great shot at home there. Look at the battle back there. Fifth, sixth, seventh. Wet and Gold now on the move. Three cars wide for the number two spot. Man, I'll tell you, they're mixing it up back there. Pat Graham in the seven. William Garner, a lot of good racing there. We're three wide for that second spot behind Staley. Stovall upstairs, the 19, going to try to rip the lip. Moves around the 16 of McGar, now around Wettengill, and he's got Staley in the crosshairs next. Oh, boy, Jesse Stovall's got her wound up and whistling. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Beck goes around. Oh, no. <laughs> Whew. Caution lights are down. Here it goes. Staley back to the green flag, and we're back underway. Look at Stovall upstairs. Going to try to make the most of it on the start. Wettengill trying to work on Staley on the inside, but not enough that time. Coming on lap five, Stovall on the march on the top of the racetrack. Staley glued to the bottom. And the USR racing... 14 car, and here comes Stovall on the top of the racetrack and car number 19. Racetrack is wide again tonight. Tip of the cap to the track crew once again as Stovall goes to the lead. Chesterman giving me crap about that 5-8 comment. I was just joshing you, buddy, but Stovall works the top side. Staley. Thought maybe uh, ate his Wheaties. Yellow, yellow, yellow as we got him around. That's the, is that the 9X? Jesse Stovall, Yeoman Racing Engines, car number 19, entry coming down the banking at turn number four. We are back underway. Green flag is out in the Foley Equipment starter stand. Here we go, Stovall. On the top side of the speedway, Todd Staley working on the bottom, still wet and gale. Brian White, they're all back there. McGar having a good run in that 16 also. Pitts Realty start zone. They'll be working them down, down the back straight away. Stovall continues to lead. Staley continues to stay on the bottom. It's bizarro world, Brian. Staley's <laughs> on the bottom. Stovall up top. Wettengel trying to move the 14 just a little bit. As we are eight laps down, Wettengel now to the top of one and two. Brian White, the 41. Look at this, four wide for the number five position. I'm telling you what. Oh, that, that didn't work oh, either. No. Oh, no. Big trouble on the back straight away. That is. Oh, and Beck just completely demolished his oh, car. Oh, no, and then we caught two more we as did. well. Six cars involved, and Beck just got beat down. Unbelievable. That could have been a whole lot worse. We had an incident like that last oh. year where we had a big fire on the back stretch, if you're not mistaken. And it wasn't, it was the same thing, into the wall, bottled them up, going to bring the red flag out here. All right, here we go. Stovall going to bring us to the green flag, and we are racing. Stock cars, 12 laps to go. Your USRA stock cars. A feature from uh, last night. This is a feature number two. Jalen Wettengill down to the inside of the 19 of Jesse Stovall. It's Wettengill Stovall off of turn at number four. 
Stovall will continue to lead as they rotate back into turns at number one and two. Staley, tough restart for him. He drops back into that four spot as Wettengill now coming after your leader side by side into turns three and four. Wettengill to the bottom, Stovall up top. We've got a battle for the lead. Brian White hanging around in that 41 with El Presidente nipping on the tails as well. Staley hiking that left run up, getting a little snug on the cushion. So keep your eyes out on the top side of the speedway. A good battle going on there between the 7 and the 14. Looking good as they're coming off of turn number 4. Wettengale, though, the race leader as the yellow comes out. Yellow, yellow, yellow. How often do you see a race go to caution and then end under red flag rain and then go fire it back up and not be able to go. But meanwhile, here we're back underway. Jalen Wettengale, the 91J, good, brings us to the green flag. Stovall, good start there, the 19. The veteran driver going to take a look, but not enough that time as Brian White going to have the best of him coming off of turn two. Yeah, White will take him to the second spot. Look at El Presidente shoots the gap three wide into turns three and four. Got Stovall to the top, oh. to the bottom. Now he's going to look underneath the 41 of White. Todd Staley coming back with a vengeance in car 14. Sparkler is going off the right front and the left rear. Staley hiking it up down the back stretch. Behind them, you got Garner and Stovall in the missile, Miles McHale. So a big old gaggle of stock cars as Wettengale still leads the way. But the real race right now is back for second to fifth and sixth. Those guys are really getting there as Jeremy Vaughn comes into the picture also. Yeah, Staley a little slip of the grip that time. That allows the 7 Gia William Garner to tighten up on him. Now Staley will push up in three and four. Garner to the inside, battle for third. Good one down the front straight away. Still under heavy protest. Back into one and two. Man, I tell you what, Staley has that thing leaning over on that right rear hard as he worked the cushion, and that is going to actually put Garner upstairs and a little yeah. bit of poof yeah. of smoke. Garner oh, uh, getting no. ready to go boom in a big way. He's going to give up the ghost here pretty soon, I think, but we'll yeah. find out. We'll keep an you eye on that situation there. That is not... That is heavy out from underneath the uh, hood of that race car. So well, Staley is keep an eye can, on that situation. You can see Staley's almost hanging back because he doesn't want to get whatever is going to come out from underneath that. But now he realizes, well, maybe it isn't going to blow up. I should keep going. <laughs> well, Wettengeld is still the race leader. Brian White hangs about .819 seconds behind the race leader. Then you have Garner, Staley, and the missile, Miles McHale, your current top five, hanging right outside of them. Jeremy Vaughn, the 25. You know, the only thing, if that's a small kind of a, um, if that's a small fluid leak from the radiator, a pinhole in a hose or something, getting back onto the headers, um, it could just be creating a lot of smoke, but it does really look like it's coming from the front side of that race car. It's, so it's it, the radiator it for could sure. Be, it could be producing a lot more smoke than what actually um, it, is it, going it, wrong with right. it. So Absolutely. It may, it may look oh, like, oh, no, <laughs> uh, no, that, that went, that answered the question. Yeah, is that uh, that's not good. That right there is a oil fire, and they are going to have to bring him. They're going to have to throw the yellow and get him to the infield because there is a fire under the hood of the seven machine. The seven of William Garner, the seven G, going to have to pull to the infield as the firefighters are going to meet him there. This is one of those meet in the middle, and we'll talk about it later type of yeah. situations as William Garner. Just comes a to a stop on the dry grass in the infield, but don't <laughs> worry, we have fire extinguishers. Here we go, Wet and Gale. Punches the old noisemaker and brings us to the green flag. 18 down of 20. Good start for the 91 of Wet and Gale. Once again, Staley way tight in turns one and two. Wheels point to the left. That allows the 21 of McHale to drive by. Hot, hot damn Pat Graham had to jam the brakes so he didn't turn the 14 of Staley. Off of turn number four. White flag in the air, one lap to go for Jalen Wettengill. Just needs to keep her good, but here comes Brian White. He says, eh, I might be close enough. He's within two car lengths. We'll see if he can send it. Larry the Entertainer would have done that, but here comes Brian White off turn number four. Wettengill holds on to it. Brian White made a late charge, but not early enough. Coming home third is going to be the missile, Miles McHale. Todd Staley and Pat Graham round out the top five, but how about it for the 91J of Jalen 